Hello guys and welcome! Today I will show you how to make this really efficient and cool zombie farm. This one will give you a lot of XP, a lot of rotten flesh and you don't need redstone for that. What you first of all need for that is of course a zombie spawner. And what else you need are some materials. And in this case you need three water buckets, you need three signs, it can be any wood. You need three hoppers, two chests two fences, you need uh, seven stone slabs, 23 kelps and soul sand. Getting soul sand can be a little bit tricky because you need to go to the nether, but it is quite common in the nether so don't worry, it's easy to find. And for survival of course you need some ladders because we're gonna dig up and to reach there we need a ladder. And yeah, so what we need to do first is we need to clear out an area for maximum spawn rate and because we're also gonna create our water flow. So first of all we need to clear four blocks on the side. So we have here one, two, three. Let's make this four and let's clear the whole side on every side. Because we want everything to be nine white. Okay, now that we have cleared the area and we have exactly four blocks on each side of the spawner, what is really, really great, that's what you wanted, uh, we're gonna place our first stone slab and this stone slab will be on top of that spawner. And now we also need to clear the top. We want to have uh, a height of five blocks and now we have one, two, three, four. So we also need to clear the top. Now the top is also clear, now it's 5 blocks as we can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, perfect. What we need to work on next is the ground. Here we will go down by 3 blocks and clear the whole area, but be careful that you don't break the spawner, you don't want that. And if you happen to break a torch, make sure to replace it immediately because you don't want uh, zombies to spawn. Okay, now we have cleared the whole area and we also have three blocks of space below the spawner. And now it's really, really important, like a very important step comes now. Now we're gonna make a little tunnel where the zombies will be flooded in. And we're gonna use now two water buckets for that. And I decided to make the tunnel here so the zombies will be flooded in here. So once you have located it, the side you want you go right under the spawner and you walk straight ahead and dig out uh, entrance because that's where you want the zombies to be spawned in now on the opposite side of this entrance here you're gonna place some water at the corners one here one here yeah that's great and once this is done you're gonna break the blocks where there's no more water. So here's where the water ends and we're gonna break those blocks and remove them all. And don't worry, the water will not flood down if you only break the blocks where there's no water. But be careful to not mess up. You don't want to break this. You don't want to break too much. Otherwise the water will flow there. Okay, now let's patch this up. Now we need to dig in here by two blocks. And remove here another block because the zombies will get pushed back from here. That's also very important. Now what you want to do here is you want to dig down by two blocks starting from one block inside the entrance and a second block. And here the same. Now what you will place in next is you will place in some fence on the ground here. Very 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 important. Because this will uh, stop the zombies from getting stuck, this fence here. This will make sure your zombies, they don't get stuck. Okay, what you want to do next is, you want to walk here over the fence, stand on this block. And you want to clear out uh, 23 blocks here, so, so you would need to dig up by 21 more blocks. And now we are on layer 40. So our destination would be layer, because you're already standing on, on 40, would be layer 52. But if you are on creative, you will need to use the ladder. So you basically need to do following. You need to stay on this block and remove as many blocks as you can to the top. 
and then you would need to place a ladder here go up and once you're at the top you don't dig straight up because this is like a suicide you actually clear this block and you clear this block this block and then you're standing here and then you will do the same again you can crouch so you don't fall like i'm crouching right now so i'm not falling and then you clear here again until you are arrived at 21 more blocks right okay now we have arrived at the top at layer 52 that is exactly 21 blocks higher and now you need to be really careful this is a very very important step and you don't want to mess up here so our spawner is in this direction and what we want to do is we want to either dig out now the left or the right side and this is where the zombies will be flooded in and in our case i'm going to pick the left side so you dig up by two more blocks until until the top and then here we go by seven blocks you want to clear here seven blocks one two three four five six seven that should be seven let me let me double check one two three four five six seven great this is perfect that's exactly what we want and now we want to break one block here perfect so what we what we need to do next is we need to place the water here we will place it on this block and you will see the water will flood into this direction. Now we need uh, another sign. And we need to stop the water flow. And signs can stop the water flow. Let me quickly demonstrate this. So if you place a sign here. The water flow will be interrupted. Because this is where the zombies will be flooded in. You don't want water to come there. Otherwise your farm will be flooded. And we need to go back to layer 40 from here. So you need to dig down by 23 blocks. If you are on survival, you need to do it like that. So, so you dig out, for example, here. Then you dig out here a few blocks. Then you jump down here. Then you dig here again. And that's how you get down without taking any fall damage. So let's go down there by 23 blocks to layer 40. Okay, we have arrived now at layer 40. We need to clear this area now. Somewhere over there, we should be able to see our monster spawner. Perfect! We are in the room where the zombie spawner is. Let's clear this area. I'll go for a height of three blocks. You can even make this higher if you want. You can decorate here as well. You can put down some carpet. Okay, and now what we want is we want to break those three blocks. Let's make this all stone so it looks better. And now it's time to place the hopper. So you want this hopper, the first one, to be pointed into this direction because later we will place a chest here. What I usually do is when I um, place the hopper is I will crouch because if you crouch it can target the block that you want it to be going in. So let's crouch and let's place it in. What you need to do next is you need to place uh, slabs on top of the hoppers. That's very, very important. And now you break these blocks here and place in the chests. Perfect. There's actually something really strange about uh, slabs. If you uh, drop something on top of slabs, like we're going to uh, now show with a torch, it's actually going to be in the hopper. Like, look, it's disappearing. You guys see that? So three torches just disappeared and you will find them in the large chest. So if we later on take care of the zombies and take them down, everything they drop will go through that slab into that hopper and then inside that chest. Alright, let's make this uh, safe so we don't take any damage here from the zombies and they can't reach us. So first you want one block in front of here to place some, some regular blocks and then you start placing slabs on the bottom. And since we are in creative, I just forgot something really, really important. You want to place here either a hay bell or you want to place some stairs. Because if you later test this to see if it actually works and if the current is working, you want to be safe. So let's place a hay bell here. It's really good to bring them. They reduce your fall damage by so much. We will barely take any damage when we land on this. And let's keep this open for now because we're going to test it later. We'll just patch it up again. And 
Let's also torch this because we don't want monsters to spawn in here. Let's clear a bit more. What you want to do next is you want to play sides here to interrupt the water. So the water can no longer flow here because we want to create two streams, right? So now that we place the signs, the water no longer flows out. What is really, really good and that's what we want. And next we have to place the kelp and get on top. So let's start placing the kelp here. Later on we will break this block here and put soul sand there. But before we do that, we go up with the kelp. Quickly drink a potion so it's not dark. And don't worry, um, you have enough time and you won't drown. It's not that high. And now it's time to go down. So after you place the kelp, you need to go down the kelp and retrieve the kelp. So let's break it at the bottom. It's a break. Don't worry, you have enough time. And now a very, very important step. You need to break the block below the water and replace it with soul sand. And this will create also some bubbles and a stream that will shoot uh, the mobs up in a very, very high speed. And what we need to do next is we need to break those blocks so the water can flow in there. Break all of the blocks at the corner, but only those at the corner. And you guys see now there's a, a water flow here. And this will water will lead to the soul sand and the bubbles will shoot the mobs up. Let's test this quickly. And I will also show you that you won't die from the fall damage. Because of the hay bell. So if we end up here, we're gonna be shot up and in a high speed. Then we're gonna fall down. We will take barely any damage because of the hay bear. Don't worry about that. Minor damage because of that hay bear, right? Very useful. So that's why I placed it. Now we patch this up. And it was the entrance. Great. What you need to do next is you need to break all torches and we need also to patch this up because we don't want to have a light source here let's patch this up quickly and this is the really really tricky part because once you break those torches the zombies will spawn the good thing is they don't have any range attacks so you should be quite safe so let's start breaking the torches and soon we will see the first uh, zombies spawn Oh, they already start spawning. Let's quickly get out of here. Oh, no. This is so creepy. This is scary. <sighs> but we are still alive. And you see, the zombies are being flooded in here. This is so great. You're gonna get so much uh, rotten flesh and XP now. And they take a lot of fall damage as well, so they die fast. And everything will land in here. What you also could do, let me change back to creative. You can actually make a window and you can watch the whole process. I think it's also really fun to watch. It's really funny when those zombies are being flooded. Love watching that. Like look at that. They're being flooded in here now. Even a baby zombie. And there we have new zombies. Yeah, and they have low HP from the fall damage, which is really useful. That's why we made it also that deep. It only like one or two hits. Like I'm using a, a netherite sword, but even if I were like a stone sword, it's just two hits. Oh wow, and so much XP, it's crazy. And if you have like a cleric, you can do like a lot of trading with rotten flesh and make a lot of emeralds. Oh wow, they are new zombies. It's so fun watching them, right? Like how they are flooded in. You can make this like while you are AFK. You can do some stuff in the house, keep your game open and just wait until you have a lot of zombies. Come back to the computer, then you take care of them, do other stuff. Or maybe search something on the internet, you are AFK, you come back, you do this again and again. And you get a lot of rotten flesh, you get a lot of uh, XP and... It's really cool. 
Like I really, really love this farm. It's one of my most favorite farms. And let me quickly get rid of this effect here. Okay, great. I hope this, this farm, this tutorial was useful for you. I'm so in love with it. It's simple, it's easy to make, and it's a great AFK farm. And a lot of XP. I use like the same kind of farm also for the skeletons. And it's what I use during my uh, let's plays. It's really, really good. I love this farm. And I hope you guys love it too and was useful. If you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. And I would also really appreciate if you like this video and hit the notification bell. So you don't miss out on any new video. And I wish everyone a wonderful day. Until next time.